Hello, Brookfield East. Today is Friday, April 24th. Welcome to week one of Beast Blast. I'm Megan and- I'm Mahika. We're all really sad that school has been canceled for the rest of the year. We really miss everyone and wanted to find a way to keep our Brookfield East family connected. So we created Beast Blast. Every Friday, we will release a video with some awesome announcements, stories of community heroes, some fun pictures of staff and students making the most of their quarantine, a message from a Brookfield East teacher, and more. The whole Over the PA announcement crew is here, and we're so excited to share with you the first ever Beast Blast. And now, for a message from Farley's Forum. Hello, Mr. Farley. Hi, Brookfield East. Just wanted to reach out and say hello to everybody. We miss you tremendously. We miss you at our school. We miss our teachers and students and coaches and advisors all working together um, in the name of academic and human excellence. Uh, hope all of you are doing well. Hope all your families are doing well. Special thank you to Mahika and Megan for putting this together and our entire announcement crew. This will be a great uh, Friday tradition from here on out to the rest of the school year. One bit of advice I have for you that I found um, to be really beneficial, continue to manage the moment. A lot of questions about what's uh, next week going to look like, what's next year, what are weeks down the line going to look like. None of that we can control right now. Continue to live in the present and do your best that you can and live where your feet are. Hope all is well and have the best weekend. And if I can be of any support, please don't hesitate to reach out. See ya. Thank you, Mr. Farley, and welcome to Spartan Good News. There are so many families in the Brookfield East community who are giving their time to help out the doctors and the nurses out on the front lines. Here are some of the amazing families making a difference by donating masks. Last weekend, staff members drove all over town delivering Class of 2020 graduation yard signs to each and every one of our seniors. Thank you teachers for that act of kindness and for your time. And thank you seniors. We are thinking of you. I will fight. I will fight for you. I always do until my heart is black and blue and I will stay I will stay with you we'll make it to the other side like lovers do I'll reach my hands out in the dark and wait for yours to until I can Umbrook has been teaming up with Versity Blood Center of Wisconsin for community blood drives. Brookfield East has hosted the last two, and the next blood drive will be at Brookfield Central. More details will be available soon. Thank you to everyone who has donated blood to those who need it. Thank you, Mr. Westfall, for including Brookfield East in Be the Light Wisconsin to salute the students involved in all athletics and activities, especially our class of 2020. Schools participating in this national movement turn on all stadium lights for 20 minutes to honor all of their springtime athletes. 
Shout out to seniors Simon Attenberger, Owen Herzog, and Vince Dominski for their human excellence. They collected over 500 pairs of socks and donated them to Mr. Bob's Under the Bridge, an organization that provides much needed items to homeless men, women, and children. Now time for some miscellaneous announcements. The WCTC Dual Enrollment Academy is still seeking candidates for programs in the 2020 to 21 school year. This is a great way to earn college credit while in high school and provides the opportunity to earn a certification for employment after graduation, whether you continue on to a college, university, military apprenticeship, or work. Elmbrook Schools and Mount Mary are working together to offer students some additional course offerings in the fields of fashion design or food science slash dietics. Courses are available for the fall 2020 and spring 2021 semester on the Mount Mary campus. Students will need to provide their own transportation. Students who are interested should fill out the form located on the Brookfield East website. Attention all parents of seniors. Graduation collage photos are due Wednesday, April 29th. The deadline has been extended. Click the link on the Brookfield East website to submit them. You can submit a maximum of five photos for your child. Attention all AP students. All 2020 AP exams will be administered online at home. Students will receive communication directly from College Board, including all exam-related information and instructions for taking each AP exam. Wondering what your beloved seniors are up to next year? Follow Beast Seniors 2020 on Instagram to see members of the Class of 2020's post-grad plans. We have seven wonderful BHS staff members who have been nominated and are finalists for the Engaged in Excellence Awards. For student services, Amy Schneiderwitz, school psychologist. For service and support individual, Francis Bridger, office manager. For service and support team, BHS custodial team. For coach and advisor, Ben Farley, football. For teaching in high school, Mark Ritter, math, and Kelly Titkowski, English. For leadership, Katherine Ryan, teaching and learning specialist. Congrats, guys. Student Council is hosting a Spirit Week next week, the week of April 27th. Monday is mask day, so submit a photo of you and your family wearing their quarantine masks. Tuesday is tie-dye day. Wednesday is what you make. Submit a photo of you and your latest creation, whether it be food, art, or anything else. Thursday is therapeutic day. Submit a photo of you doing your favorite act of self-care. And lastly, Friday is Friday fun day. Business on top, casual on bottom. Submit a photo of you in your best Zoom outfit. All photos should be posted on your Instagram story or feed with the hashtag SWBEHS. Winners will be picked at the end of the week. We'll feature some of our favorites on next week's episode. Hi, I'm Joey Leonard, and I'm here with the Student Council Exec Board to tell you about our Spirit Week. Monday is Mask Monday. Tuesday is tie-dye. What you make Wednesday? Going on a hike for Therapeutic Thursday. Dress up for Friday fun day. And you can win a dozen donuts from Cranky Owls. Now for some pictures of our Brookfield East students and staff showing how they're passing time during quarantine. Mr. Cordell, math teacher and cross country coach, has stayed busy by running a lot. Quarantine has not stopped him from his achievements. He signed up to run the Milwaukee Marathon and continued to run the 26.2 miles in his neighborhood. Way to go, Mr. Cordell. Mrs. Barmanje has been spending her time baking. Look at those awesome cakes. And here's a picture hiking with her kids. Miss Anger, AP psychology and launch teacher and basketball and track coach, took advantage of the warm weather and went on a hike. Scarlett Kalibi, senior, is searching for new perspectives by spending time outside and in trees. What a unique way to get some fresh air. Madame Cosmeter and her family took advantage of some of the windy days we've been having lately and flew kites. Looks like a lot of fun. Mr. Lockney, the band director, has been learning how to make mosaic tables. Recently, he's been making patio tables, but has created many others. He's been enjoying the way you break the pieces apart to make them fit. Those look really awesome, Mr. Lockney. Emily Adams, senior, has also been using her time to read, read, and read some more. She has finished seven books since virtual learning has begun, and is currently in the middle of three more. In fact, her and senior Katya Smaraka completed a 24-hour readathon. Keep on reading, guys. Junior Taylor Kernkovich has been using her extra time to find her artistic side. The other day, she chalked up her driveway. Look at that! What a cool way to spend some time outside and be creative. 
And now, a special message from World History, AP Seminar, and AP Research Teacher, Mr. Saxton. Hey Spartan Nation, Mr. Saxton here. Um, I really hope you and your families are all well and healthy. I miss you guys a great deal. I um, miss walking through the halls and seeing everybody, um, especially because this means I have to teach my children that I own every day as well. Um, the good news is I'm creating a diary of stories um, for future classes that I have at East. I'll share two titles with you. One is, Dad, What's the Worst That Could Happen? Uh, the second title is, How Do You Get Stuck in a Tree? Um, I can tell you they're both riveting stories, um, but yes, we'll have to wait uh, to a further for a further date till those are delivered. Um, but yeah, I really just hope everybody's staying positive, making the most out of this um, time. Um, I can't help but feel that uh, despite the dreariness around the topic of COVID, we really should look at this as an opportunity um, to grow um, as people, as family members, athletes students see this more as an opportunity versus an excuse um, to not push forward and to not be resilient. Um, now's the time to show what you're made out of and, and use this as an opportunity to get better. Um, but yeah, I just really miss everybody. Um, I hope everybody's okay. Hanging in there. We're going to get through this. Um, and yeah, uh, hope everybody's all right. Peace and love. Make good choices, and I'd say be home by nine, but I already know you will be. All right. Well, that just about closes our first week of the Beast Blast. Thank you all for tuning in. If you want to see more of your teachers' faces, don't forget to check out the Spartan Strong Project also on the BEHS radio YouTube channel today. It features some positive messages from Brookfield East staff. We would love to show more pictures and videos of what you are all up to in next week's video. So keep your eyes peeled. A drop zone is coming soon. Thank you all for joining us today. And for your over the computer announcements, this has been Mary Saxon, Amulia, Madhavi, Julia, Ben Lucas, Mason, Simra, Mahika, and I'm Megan. We hope you are all staying safe and healthy. Have a wonderful week and go Spartans.